brings through today. Well, that came courtesy of a ridge of high pressure. Only a temporary visitor to our shores this time, however, because through the evening, the low in the North Atlantic has been spreading its influence in, bringing with it not only this uh, massive cloud, but also outbreaks of rain over the past few hours to Northern Ireland. And overnight tonight, that will turn heavier, spread to Scotland, parts of Northern England, North Wales, and perhaps even the North Midlands. Further south, we stay largely dry with partly clear skies around. Initial dip in temperatures, but for most with west to south westerly winds developing, temperatures will rise later in the night. And of course, tomorrow, after the fine and bright weather today, it does mean for some a pretty wet and windy one in store. Particularly in the morning from the Midlands northwards, the wettest of the conditions for the rush hour will be northwest England and across western Scotland, where some of that rain will remain persistent throughout. We'll have some fine and bright conditions across southernmost parts. And even where you start with the rain, Northern Ireland, North East England, you could see some breaks in the rain clouds, a little bit of brightness developing at times, but a gusty wind, and that wind will be especially gusty through the afternoon across eastern parts of Northern England. Worth of note if you're travelling up the A1, and the rain in North West England gets heavier once again. What also is concerning us is the persistence of the rain across Scotland. Don't forget we had a lot of heavy rain here through the weekend. Saturated ground, high river levels have to keep a very close eye for further flooding. And a cold wind here coming in from the northeast compared to the southwesterly one we'll see in Northern Ireland. And with bricks and the rain clouds, you could see temperatures at around 20 degrees during the afternoon. But those southwesterly winds will be piling the moisture across Snowdonia. The rain turns heavier here for the second half of the day, something dry and brighter to South Wales. And indeed, across many southern counties of England, we stay dry throughout, breaks in the cloud, bit of sunshine, southwesterly wind, could see temperatures hit around 23. But even here, we'll see the cloud gather through Wednesday night into Thursday, outbreaks of rain developing, still remaining heavy and persistent at times across much of southern Scotland and northern England, as will be the case on Thursday. Elsewhere, the rain a little bit more sporadic, plenty of cloud around, limited amounts of brightness. But if you do see that brightness, temperatures again into the low 20s. For Friday, still very cloudy across many parts, but the rain on Friday should be light and patchy. The wind's a little bit lighter as well, but they'll pick up through Friday night, a band of heavy rain sweeping all areas. And then for Saturday, the driving low will spread in mixture of sunshine and blustery showers. Temperatures dropping a little bit, by hopefully by Sunday, a bit more sunshine, fewer in the way of showers.